Hey everybody, Chris here. So Jasmine has been on a big run lately and now we are plotting the next big pump for Jasmine. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. And I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at five o'clock. That's five o'clock East Coast time in the United States. So check your clocks and where you are in relation to me. I'm here in Boston, Massachusetts enjoying the crypto bull run. We're still very early though, and as I've been plotting the bull run going out, looks like this fall is going to be a major move in altcoins, show you that as well. And an eerily similar chart that Jasmine has to Dogecoin, that's right. So all of that and more, let's take a look at the charts in the news and I'll show you what I'm looking at. And we'll start here looking at the Jasmine chart. Here's the one hour chart and Jasmine's right between uh, 3.8, 3.9 cents. It didn't, it did you know, retake four cents yesterday, came up to about 4.25 or so before coming back. So it's settling nicely. Again, we're looking at support at 3.4 cents, this yellow line here, but doesn't look like Jasmine is going to be retesting that anytime soon. A lot of that is on the backs of Bitcoin, which not only made sure that it was above 69k, but moved up over 70k and is trying to find support above 71. So that continues forward as well. And of course, I've got my white lines there with my predictions uh, for Bitcoin as well as Dogecoin. And so far, the charts seem to be following those predictions well. Haven't looked at Jasmine yet because I want to see where that support level is going to be for Jasmine uh, because of this big run that Jasmine just went on again, mapped out these three consecutive bull flags, predicted Jasmine would hit four cents. And I was pretty close on it exactly hitting that. So, uh, so let's look at plotting out Jasmine going forward along with the news. Again, Bitcoin. It beat 69K uh, and is looking at 71K and whether it can get above that and see that as new support as that moves higher. ETH, we're going to see what happens with the ETH ETFs. I think everyone's kind of in a waiting mode there for ETH. And uh, uh, Solana continues with all of the memes being built on Solana, doing well. XRP, again, XRP is a stable coin, in my opinion. Not a fan of Brad Garlinghouse at all. He can say anything he wants about like XRP having the next ETF, but nobody else wants it. Nobody else cares. So uh, uh, the big one is BNB. BNB does hit a, a new all-time high, and uh, Doge and Sheep are still just waiting. They're still just waiting. But Jasmine, again, uh, Jasmine is one of the prime crypto gainers here now in the last two days because of this 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 big rise in price and i'll show you what that is about so again altcoins right now we're looking at the big picture back in 2016 we had this setup here of uh with the bollinger bands here we had a bollinger band squeeze followed by a rise in price we had a pullback and then a breakout that happened again in 2020 we had a Bollinger Band squeeze we had uh, a deviation from the Bollinger Bands a pullback and then breakout and where are we now well 2023 we had a big Bollinger Band squeeze and that's where we were buying Jasmine at 0 0.0036 that's right, 0036, that's our Jasmine average as we were accumulating Jasmine last summer. But look, breakout from the Bollinger Bands, deviation, a pullback, and here we are looking at this next big breakout. And this is for all altcoins with a big run coming later in 2024. That is what the large picture is showing so for jasmine itself jasmine bulls uh they eye a moonshot gained a record highs now record highs it depends on what you call a record whether it's all-time jasmine or more recent because 
uh, that, that initial trading of Jasmine was a bit out of the range. I'll show you that in a minute. But again, Jasmine leads crypto rally alongside other tokens like GameStop, NotCoin, others. But you can't even compare Jasmine to those because it's DPIN, right? DPIN. What is DPIN? So DPIN is the uh, narrative that is hot right now. A DPIN narrative. That is Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network is DPIN. And Jasmine is looking like it is going to be a big narrative for that, particularly in Japan. But as I, as I said on Sunday, they also have goals for expanding that type of network worldwide. They have also a lot of patents that they have been uh, attaining for the kind of in infrastructure that they're building. And we'll see how that goes forward as well. So um, so on the chart here, we can look at we, 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 we can look at Jasmine here on the chart and how it has been performing with this big move up to four cents. They're looking at these fair value gaps as possible drops in the price of Jasmine to 3.2 and 2.8 and and that those fair value gaps will need to be filled. But when you're in a uh, when you're in a sort of FOMO bull market scenario where things are rising fast, it doesn't necessarily have to go back and revisit those levels. It can just create new support and move up higher. It doesn't always have to fill that, so to speak. So some of these TA guys get a little bit um, uh, carried away by this. These fair value gaps must be resolved by revisiting the price of those zones. Not necessarily. Now, if you want to set a limit order down there, you can, but that money will most likely just be sitting there because the price is going to continue to go up, in my opinion, from here. And that money will just be sitting there stuck in a limit order that's not going to get filled. Again, deep in narrative, hot right now. Jasmine has secured large market share. And what is it tied to? It's tied to this whole thing around Apple right now and uh, the country of Japan. Japan is adding this My Number application, which is this data ID, and that Jasmine is what is being used for the storage of that data on the blockchain that's jasmine's role in this so so again jasmine has not partnered directly with apple that's not what it is but i think investors are wise to jasmine's role in all this and what's happening with the jasmine infrastructure and how this can be huge going forward so uh, again, my number is a digital technology designed to be used as an electronic certificate for identity verification. And the Jasmine platform is a part of that whole piece. So uh, as the deep end sector continues to mature, coins like Jasmine will continue to outperform the market. The involvement of industry giants like Apple, Panasonic, in Jasmine's domain only points to an inevitable future of integration and partnership. Again, as we see more partnerships being made for Jasmine, that is what we will be looking for. So Jasmine price rushed up 100% from two cents to four cents, doubled in price. Will it rise more and how much more in the price? So that's this is what we're plotting out. Uh, and again, I don't think we're going to be dropping down to those fair value gaps. I think on the contrary, right? Selling pressure can be expected if Jasmine price forms a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern, but I don't think that is going to happen. Are we going to slip between 3.5? Again, my support line is 3.4, and we'll see if there's a decline in trading volume or not. But so far, the Jasmine price is tra trading far over the key moving averages, demonstrating the buyer's grip and Again, MACD signal lines are all over the zero line. This is all looking very bullish. So 
Let's look at a, a couple plotting out of Jasmine's price future. One is by Crypto Knight here, and let's take a closer look at what Crypto Knight plotted out. And this was a week ago. Jasmine at that time was still about two and a half cents. It hadn't made its run to four cents yet, but yet he predicted the run up to four cents, which is where we are now. Thinks there'll be some up and down movement. And then, like July, August, we see that next move up. That next move up takes Jasmine up to the eight to nine cent range, some sideways movement, then up to say 16, 17 cents before eventually moving up to a 21 cent range. And that could be sometime in 2025. So sees continual uh, rise in the price with some FOMO and then some resettling up and down happening two or three more times. This price target at 21 cents mirrors where Jasmine was here late in 2021. And he is not counting the three or four dollar price before then. Again, I don't know how many Jasmine tokens there were back then, but that was a crazy price. Jasmine came all the way down in price. And then when it when it rose back up, that is where it hit right there at that like 22, 23 cent range. So that is his target. Again, we look at you know, Jasmine again overall looking back this was that retest of price not including what happened before we can always pull this back and we can say well Jasmine used to be like you know, way up here in price you know up in this like uh you know four dollar range but and that was back in like February March of 2021 but again I don't count that either I pull that back and I say okay yeah that 21 22 cents that makes sense in terms of in terms of Jasmine and where that initial sort of uh, all-time high of trading can be, not including that craziness, but craziness. Yeah, others are saying, "Look, Jasmine, ten dollars." It's like you know, we're we're talking still. Jasmine maybe getting to one dollar would be a great move. Ten dollars is a little bit much, but. Is Jasmine destined to break a top 10 crypto in the market? Can it be top 10? So where Jasmine is right now, Jasmine is right around 59. It was 57 last night. Uh, it's really close, $1.9 billion. It was at a $2 billion mark uh, yesterday when it was over uh, 4 cents. So let's just call it $2 billion. So to get to a top 10 cryptocurrency right now, it would have to be about 20 billion, let's say. So that makes it easier. So it's like a 10x from here, a 10x from here. That would take Jasmine from 3.8 cents to 38 cents. That would be 38 cent Jasmine. And that's what I've been predicting is like the 35 to 39 cent range for Jasmine, this bull run. That has been my prediction. Uh, could a dollar happen if, if, if FOMO kicks in and Jasmine does something crazy? Maybe, but that would be, that would be what Jasmine would need to get to a top 10. It, it, again, and that's if these don't move very much. Typically though, if Jasmine's moving up that much, the whole crypto market is moving up. The whole altcoin market is moving up. So everything's pricing up. So Jasmine would have to do even that much more to make it to a top 10. But to look at Dogecoin, because this is interesting. So here's the Dogecoin pattern again, 2021, Doge traded up to 74 cents. And, uh, and then again, had, had the same kind of summer that Jasmine did, down low, five cents, six cents, right? And we were accumulating Doge back then too. It was six cent Doge. Doge has already come up to 22 cents. So that, that run up for Doge initially to 22 cents looks a little different than so far what we have seen with Jasmine. Jasmine is just starting that move. That next leg up though, right there, that leg up, up to say eight, nine cents is very similar to this 22 cent move that Dogecoin just did. So. Jasmine may be following this similar pattern of Doge. And that's what we're looking at as this possibility. But again, if 
if uh, if Jasmine is going to follow Dogecoin, it's going to do something that could even eclipse this. But right now, let's just look at you know this twenty one cent move uh, initially for Jasmine, and then again if that big FOMO kicks in and we get to, you know, a bigger run similar to what we had back here in late 2021 that brings jasmine up again into the 30s range and that's what i'm looking at for jasmine so let me know in the comments below what do you think about this uh jasmine price plotting um, that i'm looking at again join the live stream too we talk about doge jasmine and many other cryptos you can ask questions we have a lot of fun so join me with the live stream make sure that you are uh you've you've subscribed you've got your notifications on and always hit the like button appreciate all that support we'll see you next time